0.9 is a great time to come back to Last Epoch, especially if you've been away for a year or two. And one of the best parts of LE is it's really easy to make your own builds. Pick a skill for your class, grab some gear that goes with it, find some skills with similar scaling that can otherwise support it, and you should be pretty good to go. Though, if making your own build isn't your thing, don't worry, I will get into some builds that you can follow later in the video. But because it is so easy to make builds, and so often people express to me that they want to make their own build, today I'm going to be talking a little bit less about builds to follow, and a little more about playstyles that I've enjoyed in the past which you might also find fun. I've played all of the builds on this list at one point in the past, though some of them have changed since I last played them. And you're free to come up with your own builds as well. Each class has a few skills that aren't too great. On the other hand, most of them are pretty viable, and you should have a good time. With that said, let's get into it. And before I do, if you find any of these builds interesting, or you want to see more about the 0.9 patch for Last Epoch and some of my thoughts, do be sure to get subscribed, since I'm going to be playing when the patch drops, and I've also got a video coming up talking about 0.9 in more details. But now, let's get to those builds. Starting with Lightning Blast Static Orb Sorcerer. I played Lightning Blast Static Orb Sork when Sands of Majasa dropped, and it did really well. It was kind of a combo build, something that's pretty unusual in the ARPG space. I'd throw out a Static Orb doing massive amounts of damage, that would buff my Lightning Blast, then I'd start Lightning Blasting and tossing in a new Static Orb when I needed the buff. It's not the fastest build, with mobility that's a little behind the other choices. However, if you've ever liked Arc or Chain Lightning, it's extremely fun to play. Also, if you're feeling a little bit experimental, you could adapt it into a Static Orb build. I think Pure Static Orb is going to be one of the strongest builds in Last Epoch 0.9, and while I haven't played it previously, you get massive amounts of coverage and absolute AoE nukes, the only problem being you're going to have to deal with a significant mana cost. For my Lightning Blast version, it wasn't too much of an issue because I could throw out a Static Orb and then spam Lightning Blast to get my mana back. You won't quite have that luxury if you're primarily Static Orb. That said, if you're looking to play a spellcaster, and especially if you want to self-cast something, it does look really strong. There's several ways to play, but personally, my favorite is the one that has giant AoE explosions, which luckily, is all of them. The only version that I'm not quite a big fan of is the rotating static orb. I think Hammer Throw does that better, and if Hammer Throw sounds interesting to you, do stay tuned, because we're going to get into that very shortly. Now, I've mentioned quite a bit of a build's strengths, but it does have a couple of weaknesses. First off, it's a little squishy compared to some of the other choices on this list, or at the very least you'll have to put more effort into scaling your defenses, and in terms of raw clear speed, it isn't necessarily the best. Once you do engage enemies, it's good at killing entire packs, but teleport has a fairly lengthy cooldown, so it won't be the fastest, especially when you're going on pure run speed. That said, it's a very comfy build on a beginner-friendly playstyle, and if you don't end up liking this, don't worry, there's plenty of other sorcerer builds that are very viable, and if you get a legendary or two, will feel absolutely awesome. Now before I continue with the next build, I wanted to take a moment to give a special thanks to my patrons and channel members for their continued support. But a little more about that at the end. For now, we're getting into build number two, Synchronized Strike Shadow Cascade Rogue. The nice thing about this build is Smoke Weaver allows you to shift on an extremely short cooldown which leads to a very fast playstyle that's great for farming. Synchronized Strike adds a ton of single target damage and can displace your location, which helps when dodging enemy abilities. As your Shadow Cascades go off, they also restore mana, which means mana management isn't too critical on this build, though if you do spam Sync Strike, it will get costly very quickly. Additionally, we're a rogue, so we've got a lot of really nice defensive options, including Glancing Blow, Silver Shroud that allows you to completely ignore the damage from one hit, and much, much more. The only downside is this build doesn't function very well until you can get at least one Smoke Weaver. Ideally, a Smoke Weaver with LP so that you can get some nice juicy prefixes. Even if you don't get that, though, it's totally fine. Shadow Cascade was one of the first builds I played when I picked Last Epoch up. The exact version I played years and years ago really isn't viable anymore, or at the very least isn't good. However, there's plenty of other options to play Fizz Shadow Cascade, such as you see in the gameplay right now, that should have no trouble clearing the content. If you're feeling a little bit spicy, you could always try something like Shadow Dagger instead, a build that keeps seeing nerfs and keeps doing massive damage anyway. Or if you're feeling even spicier, you could always make an Umbral Blades build, it's an absolutely awesome rogue skill with an amazing aesthetic, but can be a little bit of an acquired taste playstyle-wise. 
whereas Shadow Cascade is really straightforward. You just do a spin attack, and everything around you dies. As for the rest of the build, you just drop Shadow Clones like you're at a Naruto convention, and then proceed to run through the enemies, watching them all die as your shift triggers multiple Shadow Cascades. Next up, I'm going to be talking about builds that have guide videos. These are a little bit more detailed, and might be a better recommendation if you're new to the game, or just don't want to have to make a build for yourself. The first one is an honorable mention, the Reign of Winter Icicle slash Multi-Shot Marksman. This build is very visually impressive. You'll fill the screen with projectiles, and those projectiles absolutely destroy enemies. Morning Frost deck stacking makes it very easy to scale your damage. And while the entire build does rely on Reign of Winter, which can take a little bit to farm, it doesn't seem to be too bad. From my experience, I get it within a few tries, and here that's something that you're going to have to fight sooner or later anyway. If you want to know more about this Reign of Winter build, a recent video by Dread will give you everything that you need to know. And last but not least, the best build that I've ever played in Last Epoch, Smite Hammerdin, or Hammer Throw Trigger Smite on Hit. This build is super tanky, incredibly fast with Shield Rush, and very high damage. It feels a lot like Cast on Crit from Path of Exile. Plus, since you're a Paladin, you have really great recovery, so you can often get away with standing in things which really should kill you. Unfortunately, the build will need the Smite Relics that I outline in my video. Before that, it doesn't really work too well. However, you could always level as normal hammer throw, and it won't be a problem. With the changes in 0.9, I haven't found relic farming to be too difficult. In fact, I had two of them before I swapped over, just from leveling through the campaign. If you want to get spicy and experiment, you can also play this build on a Void Knight. That version does way more damage, but unfortunately isn't quite as tanky and doesn't have as much recovery. Or alternatively, you could use something like Javelin or Shield Throw to trigger Smite as opposed to Hammer Throw. These triggering skills might lead to higher single target DPS, but won't have quite as much clear, or at the very least, your clear won't be as passive. Hammer Throw with Orbit means hammers spin around you, which feels like a build that really should exist in Path of Exile. Blade Vortex cast on crit. And I guess we do have Spectral Helix, which kind of works like Hammer Throw, so we do kind of sort of have this. But at the same time, there's something a little different about how the Smite version works in Last Epoch that makes it that extra bit of awesome. After my experiences with the preview event, I made a full video detailing how to play this build and what sort of gear you want. So again, to check that out, do be sure to go up in the card or down in the description. So those are three builds or playstyles that I previously enjoyed, plus the bonus Reign of Winter, since that's a really cool build concept that I might just end up starting if I don't decide to instead play an Acolyte for the first time. We'll see how that goes. But as for the rest, don't be afraid to experiment or possibly even use builds from older videos. There's plenty of other great skills, and most of the classes only have a couple bad ones, the rest are playable and fun. If you enjoyed these recommendations, maybe this helped you find your own starter, do be sure to leave a like on the video, and then let me know down in the comments what you're planning to play. And of course, for more content, you can always check out Dread. he has a ton of builds all ready for season start. And before I go, a special thanks to my patrons and channel members for the continued support. For as low as $1 a month, you can support the channel and help make videos just like this one possible. So if this really helped you out, be sure to use the link below, or if you don't own a copy of Last Epoch yet, you can always buy it through my Nexus store, which is another great way to support me directly. If you want something else to watch, maybe check out my Smite Hammerdin guide, or you can check out Dread's Reign of Winter Icicles. Of course, if any of those are your cup of tea, maybe you want to know my thoughts on trade in Last Epoch, or whatever YouTube's recommending on screen right now. Either way, that's all for me today, good luck on your 0.9 start, and... I hope to see you again sometime soon.